What's the first thing I record after not doing a Let's Play for two months? that time up yours lagless emulator well it's going to be a little bit laggy at some point in the game and it's not really anything that i can control but details hello guys this is universal giant and let's play goldeneye for the nintendo 64 one of the most influential games of its time and practically defined the first person shooter genre anyone who grew up with this game probably had a blast with it and is just now nostalgic -asming right now Anybody who didn't will probably talk about how this game is overrated and not all that interesting to watch, but regardless, we're going to be playing it anyway. I'm going to be playing on Agent because I'm a pansy and I want to enjoy this game the same way I enjoyed it when I was a kid, which is carefree and not really giving a damn about difficulty. If you want to see me do some of the later levels, like Aztec or Egyptian, I'm throwing this out there now so I have time to prepare myself. If you're interested in seeing those last two levels, let me know now so I can actually grind for them, since this is on the emulator. I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I may have it on my actual console copy, but I can't record that right now. And I'm also going to be taking the time to read over all of these files because I never took the time to do it when I was a kid. I did see the GoldenEye movie a couple of times several years ago. I don't really remember much about it. And I just want to see what these files say because I never really took the time to read them. MI6 has confirmed the existence of a secret chemical warfare facility in the Bilomori... My... Bi... Bilomori Dam? In the Soviet Union. It's heavily guarded location and networkings are a cause for major concern. Nerf gas produced there has been turning up in the hands of hostile regimes around the world and deals with international terrorists have been rumored. This facility should be destroyed with extreme prejudice. Can do! The area around the dam is well defended against a full-scale military attack. The lone agent stands a much better chance. The easiest way to gain entrance to the weapons facility will be to get down the face of the dam. That doesn't sound very safe. Information concerning shipping and contracts stored in a computer system in a secret ops room within the dam. Don't need to do that for agent, I'll be showing it off anyway. With this covert modem connected to the satellite link, we can intercept the data with the backup is carried out. As for getting down the dam, use a bungee rope. At the bottom of the jump, use a pit and gun. Simple. Hardly a lover's leap, James. Be careful, though. I hate to think you're falling for anyone. Aw, oh, money penny. So here we go with the first level of the game. Damn. I've been thinking about this, doing this game for so long, and now that we're finally here, I'm not really sh entirely sure what to say. I do want to say before we get in, a quick change of controls, specifically for the setup I'm using right now. If I can remember what the buttons are, get it to 1.2. Now, one of the main issues with the controls as to why I didn't want to do it on an emulator is because I don't have a controller and it makes it really difficult to handle, but I do have a specific setup for the emulator here that lets me do this with the mouse and make everything all blurry and difficult to say. It is a mouse injector for the 1964 emulator. If I remember to put a link for it in the description, I will put it there if somebody reminds me. But holy crap, this makes the game so much more fun to play, just because I can play it like you can... I imagine a modern FPS, but I don't play very many modern FPSs, so... I'm not really going to know if any of them play the way that this one does now. I will say that I do find it a lot more fun to play this way. And it's like getting... It's like a remastered version of GoldenEye that isn't the remastered version of GoldenEye. And one of the fun things about the dam level specifically, I remember reading that one of the things they wanted to do for the dam level originally, you see the truck that... That guy just... Okay. You saw the truck that was near us at the beginning? 
and we're going to have to let the truck go into the next area before we're able to proceed through there. But that truck right here was originally planned to be used as a rail shooter section. I'm not sure if it was just one segment of the level that was going to be the rail shooter segment, or if the entire level was going to be that way. But you were supposed to be able to ride this truck through the beginning section, and as opposed to having to walk yourself, you would be riding the truck. And although that wasn't implemented in this game, or any rail shooter segment for that matter, I believe it was done in the remake, not the remake, but like the remastered version that I have not played and can't really offer an opinion on, except it doesn't really have the same charm as this game does. These are alarms in Secret Ancient mode and way to go machine guns, just like in Jet Force Gemini. Very quick to shoot, but not as accurate as you would like them to be. And I will be exploring as much of these areas as possible, even though there's next to nothing here for us in agent mode. Like, this entire segment of the dam, I can just end the mission right here since I'm on agent and the only thing I need to do is jump. But... I am going to try exploring as much of these areas as possible and showing off what's in the other difficulties without having to deal with the difficulty itself. Because again, I want to enjoy this game the same way I enjoyed it as a kid, and that's super easy without much difficulty, and just, you know, carefree, having fun. That's really all I want from a game, and something that I've been more frustrated with myself over in the recent games that I've done is that I haven't really taken the time to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the game for what it is. And I kind of want to do that with this game. I know I kind of did it for the few Fortune Street videos, and golf, but I want to do it for an actual Let's Play, and I hope it doesn't turn many people off that I'm just treating this as more of a carefree than anything. Those barrels! They explode! Do not be next to them when they explode! Explosions hurt. And it's not just those barrels. Everything in this game explodes. It is called the Golden Eye Engine. If you ever hear somebody make a joke about the Golden Eye Engine, it's because everything in the game explodes. Now, another interesting section of the dam is this part right here. Now, you can see there's a whole dock extending out here. There's not really much to see. If you look over there, though, try to get a closer look with the sniper rifle. You can't really see it from here. There's an entire little island out there, and I think one of those two buildings, or both of them, is entirely unique to this level. You don't see it anywhere else, nor do you have a way to get there. And one of the things that was also originally planned was to have a boat at some point on the dam that would allow you to go from here to there, and they're still not sure exactly who was controlling the boat, or what it was going to ultimately be used for. But... There was speculation as to what that island was out there for, and I'm not sure if they've established exactly what that is even to this day. Another alarm in here. Again, no real need to destroy it since we don't have the mission for it, and you can also strafe while walking. It helps you move a little bit faster. I think the same was in Jet Force Gemini that I never really mentioned either. It's interesting for me to go back to some of these games when I was a kid. When I started doing Let's Plays like this, I never really considered people who play this game extremely well or extremely quickly, and now that I'm exposing myself to a lot of the speedruns of these kinds of games, I'm noticing a lot of things that I never really appreciated before, and it's giving me a dip. You really want to hit me, don't you? But specifically for Goldeneye, there are a lot of interesting things that you can do. A lot of cool tricks and just overall impressive. And not just about this game, but speedrunning overall. I am not sure if I'd ever have the patience to do it. But I respect the runners and how much work it You just spawned out of thin air, didn't you? You're gonna die for it. Now in here is another mission. One of these computers, I believe you're supposed to use the thing in order to hack and get the information out of or something. 
I'm not going to bother with it because we don't need to do it, but it's there if you need it. And I also skipped one of the consoles outside of the locked gate that we shot to open. It was near the alarm that we blew up over there. You have to place a tracker or something that would allow you to get the information out. That's another one of the missions in the other agent difficulties. But it's not required for this one, so I didn't bother with it. I should have pointed it out earlier. And with that, we suddenly realize that we are now integrated with Google+. Plus. I can't live in a world where YouTube and Google+, Plus are integrated together! I expected the lead-up to that joke to be a little bit less subtle, or more subtle, or... Whatever. I had to make a joke about Google+, Plus. let's be honest. But he's actually bungee jumping to the facility all the way down there. Which is where we're going to have to go next. Gain entry to the laboratory area, rendezvous with 006, destroy all the tanks in the bottling room, and minimize scientist casualties. Sounds easy enough. Inside the chemical weapons facility, you should quickly and efficiently proceed to the bottling area and place demolition charges on the main gas tanks. Political considerations demand that collateral damage is minimized on the mission. Non-military personnel should be disregarded. I'm sure that won't be a challenge at all. You'll be working with 006 on this assignment. The bottling room is the rendezvous point. Don't forget to contact our double agent scientist before you leave. Dr. Doe, he's, we don't really care about him. I'll probably run into him at some point. Warn him to get out. He will provide you with a decoder for the final security door that you don't need on agent mode. There are no women or casinos for a thousand miles, 007, so even you will be able to concentrate on this mission. F you too, ma'am. Now listen carefully, Bond. Those bombs will be armed as soon as the last one is set. Don't go too close. You set them off or you'll go up in flames as well. And while you're at it, please try to bring back that door opener undamaged for once. Too much rough handling like the last mission and it might go wrong at a bad time. Honestly, 007, sometimes I think you damage your equipment on purpose. I think he's onto me. Those chemicals could provide to be a match even for your pheromones, James. Don't take too many risks. So now the bottling plant. This is what we went down to from the bungee jump. And one that we didn't really have any other way to access. So we start off in a ventilation shaft. I don't believe there's much anything in here. Although you can kind of look down. I don't see anything over there. It's supposed to go the other way. Now one other thing I want to mention. I guess I'll get to it at some other point. There is a dude over there in the stall. If you can get to him from here, you can actually shoot his hat off without hurting him. I just want to try to do that. Yeah, uh, did I shoot your hat off? No, I didn't shoot your hat off. Dang. I was really hoping to do that. Oh well. So there are, I believe there are four people in here. One in that stall, one in the stall next to me? Maybe? I know there's another one here. Oh. Could have sworn. Maybe he's always... Oh, no, there you are. I have no idea where you came from, though. But one other thing I wanted to mention is that this is my first time recording the way I'm recording because I normally use fraps for this. Or this sort of thing, and fraps was lagging this down. Is anybody going to come here? Because I know there's like a dozen people that rush me if I go down there too soon. Uh, hi, guy. There's another guy, and now they come, all come out of that room. I'm only firing in short bursts, because you only really need a couple of shots to kill these guys, and I'll go through my ammo way too quick if I just fire aimlessly. And over here's some body armor, always nice to pick up. Gives you a second set of health that you can refill, but if you take damage to your flesh and blood, then that's not damage that you can actually heal off. Body armor is the only way to restore it. This guy! He has a key. Don't forget the key. But this is my first time actually recording using the... my streaming software for local recording, because Fraps isn't really nice to me with this game for some silly reason. Okay, where did you... You're just standing in the corner. Okay. Now, I'd like to just, just destroy all the glassware before that, just to show you that the table explodes. I guess the table didn't really explode, but you get the idea. All crates explode, though. Every single crate. And I think in this level, all of the crates have ammunition for you, too. 
Now this door will open. The door over here will not open, even if you have the key to card because it's remotely locked. You need to get to the console in here to open it. But this is my first time using the local recording for OBS. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look when uploaded to YouTube. It looked okay in the test recording, but we'll see. If it's not up to standard, I apologize. But Fraps just wasn't cooperating. There's a scientist, don't shoot the scientist. I believe this is one of two places, if you're speedrunning, you really want to see Dr. Doe. So it's kind of... He's got the door decoder right here, by the way. He gives it to you to open the bottling room door. You don't need it in agent mode, but you do need it at some other point. And Dr. Doe can spawn in one of five places. There are only, I believe, two of those places conducive to running this game, where if he doesn't spawn there, it's a reset. And it's not just speedrunning either, it's for the target time you need, I think on double-O agent mode, where you need to be super-duper quick to get a certain cheat, and the only way you get that cheat is if Dr. Doke spawns in one of those two places, so if he doesn't, you're so out of luck. This room! If you blow up one of the canisters in that room, there, I don't know if there's ever anything actually Im importance in there except Dr. Doke, but if he's in there, you have to reset anyway. And I think at some point you have a couple of soldiers respawn behind you in here, even though you saw me destroy everybody. I'm just double checking to see if they're here. Maybe they're not. Okay, we'll pretend that they just died on their way here to greet me. That should be everyone in here, though. But in that room over there... I don't think I can shoot you from here. In that room is a bunch of canisters with nerf gas in them. If you shoot them, and you are in that room when they explode, all of the doors will seal off to protect the rest of the facility. Not only are you left locked in there, you will slowly die if you do not quit the mission. You have absolutely no chance to save yourself if you do that, so don't do that! But I don't really think there's any reason for you to be in there in the first place, so it's kind of stupid for you to put yourself in that kind of position if you don't have to, but who am I to tell you what to do with your life? And I believe in some of these rooms are a couple more scientists. If they want to get out, they can get out. Do you want to get out? I think he likes it in there. Okay. You like it in there too? Everybody's having a good time? Who am I to tell you not to? And it's not likely for these guys to just stand there and wait for me. I don't think there's anybody in here though. And this room gives you a nice view of the whole bottling plant down there, which is nice. Now, if you're on a different difficulty, you can go into your menu, door decoder. Decode the door by using... I don't need to decode the door, I don't think. I don't even know if the door decoder will work. Sound like it did. There it goes. But it would open up for you regardless. So there really isn't a point for you to do it. Now these are the bottles! Place a mine on each of these! Although I swear sometimes I do this, it doesn't work. I do hope it does! And the dude that we saw run over to us who is going to stand in the bottles like an idiot is Trevelyan! He's 006! He's the guy we were supposed to meet in here! I'm going to slowly walk all the way over here and hope that he follows me! So that way, when I blow these up, he doesn't die! I cannot tell you how many times I have blown these up prematurely or with him there because I was too stupid! Don't do that! Luck? Fate. So if you stay here long enough... I think he's too close to the bottles. I kind of don't want to blow them up, but if you stay here long enough, you can see these guys come all the way down, and they're going to capture 006. Oh no, they're shooting at me! Why are you shooting at me? Don't shoot at me. I'm not doing anything to you, I'm just standing here holding my watch! Stop shooting me! Trevelyan, could you get away from the bottles so I can blow them up? Please don't push me into the exit. Okay, I'll finish the job. 
bottles destroyed, wait until you see the objective completed, and then crawl out the bottle here. I don't know why I called it a bottle, it's a belt, whatever. Most people like to go through the doors, I like to go through the belt, just to be different. It's the only way I ever knew. I never actually knew that the doors let you out, I always went that way. But that's the facility! Now we have to get the hell out of here! Find the plane ignition key and escape in the plane. This is runway! The service runway is obvious escape route from the Arkhangelsk... God damn it, Soviet Russia. 006 knew this was going to be a risky mission. His sacrifice should give you enough time to find an aircraft. Oh, poor 006. We exploded those bottles way too early. Keep a cool head and you'll get out alive. Just be certain to knock out the heavy gun emplacements and battle miss missile battery or they'll swatch you out of the sky like a silly fly. Except you don't have to do that in agent mode! No time for gadgets here, 007. Just improvise with what you can find close to hand. Brace under pressure, as always, James. Now notice, when we enter into the mission here, it actually takes into account how we exited the last mission. For instance... Oh, never mind. I seem to remember it started you on a belt. I guess it doesn't. Over here, some hand grenades! Hand grenades are really convenient for this dude over here who's just going to sit in there and die. That was worth it. Now, you can't actually open these up. I always go down the belt, which is why I... This door leads back. I never actually tried to open the door. Huh. I didn't know it was going to be that oddly specific. Now, in addition to having one of my favorite music tracks in the game here, Runway is also home to one specific... I'm just going to throw this in there and kill those guys, too. Bye, guys! Everything explodes. The table, the chair, and the computer. But somehow, the ignition key is here! Now we can get into the plane! But another reason why I love this mission so much, even though it's really, really quick, is this thing over here. Now, this was originally only going to be in the streets level. This is a tank. The reason why it is here is because it was originally used for testing on this level, and even though in the movie you usually, you're supposed to ride a motorcycle off the cliff to escape the facility, here you're riding a tank. I'm going back, I was holding backwards, I forgot I was facing backwards. But they play tested the tank on this level, and they specifically left it in because they had so much fun using the tank that they figured, why the heck not? Let's just leave it in. Now, the reason why I'm taking the time to destroy these things is because more often than not, if I run straight to the plane, I die. And I'm kind of not... That hits you point blank in the face. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just get into the plane and hope these guys don't shoot it. Because if they do shoot it enough, they will destroy the plane. And if you, they destroy the plane, the mission is over. But you're supposed to ride a motorcycle in the movie off of the runway. And they enjoyed using the tank so much on this level that they just left it in. I'm kind of happy that they did, because the tank is fun to use. Anyway, that's Arcan Archangelisk. Don't kill me for mispronunciations. That's mission one down! Next time? I had... N the target time is five minutes? Are you kidding me? Next time! We'll be heading to Severnaya for the surface mission! This is Universal Giant. See you then.